in support of S3294, a bill to honor Supreme Court Justices Sandra Day O'Connor and Ruth Bader Ginsburg with statues here in the United States Capitol. Both overcame formidable barriers and defied the odds, paving the way for future generations of women. But Justice Sandra Day O'Connor holds a special place in the hearts of all Arizonans. Born on a ranch in eastern Arizona, Justice O'Connor brought a tough, no-nonsense attitude with her throughout her career in public service, and she blazed every trail she set foot on. And just this past Saturday, she celebrated her 92nd birthday. Justice O'Connor served as Arizona's Assistant Attorney General, the first female majority leader to serve in any state Senate across the United States of America, and as a Maricopa County Superior Court judge. And in 1981, she took her Arizona brand of independence and pragmatism with her to the United States Supreme Court. Justice O'Connor, shattered the highest glass ceiling in the legal profession, but Arizonans most admire her for the way she made it there, with unparalleled talent, intelligence, and relentless grit. Her independent-minded commitment to interpreting the Constitution and reaching workable decisions served our nation and the rule of law well. But one of the things that I most admire about Justice O'Connor is what she did after she retired from the United States Supreme Court. She foresaw deep divisions in our society and in our politics. She knew that we needed to improve civil discourse if we hope to keep our democracy strong. Man, the gentleman's time has expired. I yield an additional minute. And after 25 years on the court, she came back to Arizona and got right back to work. She founded the Sandra Day O'Connor Institute in Phoenix to promote civic education, inspiring future generations to not only participate in our democracy, but to contribute with it to it with the same degree of thoughtfulness, civility, and grace that she has throughout her amazing career. I've been lucky enough to work with her and the Institute through the Camp O'Connor Civic Engagement Program for middle school students, I saw firsthand the difference that program makes in the lives of our next generation of leaders, and I saw how much Justice O'Connor truly cares about those children and about all people. That's her legacy to me. Justice O'Connor and Justice Ginberg were deeply committed to the service to the American people. They are more than deserving of this recognition, and I yield back. Reserve.